the rise of unique talents like Neo, T-Pain, Alicia Keys, Sierra, and much more gave a special touch to the songs that made people fall in love with them beyond imagination. Welcome to Major Key Unlimited. What r and in 2007 looked like. Today, we're looking at the era of 2007 with the most critical r and events of that year. What was it like living in 2007 with so many big names in r and Make sure to watch to the end to find out. In 2007, Beyonce launched one of the most record-breaking songs called Irreplaceable. As Beyonce loves to spend a tremendous amount of time before launching a product, together with Neo, they deliberately created the song to which people of either gender can relate. And being a symbol of women empowerment, Beyonce shared the story of the breakdown of a woman's relationship with an unfaithful man and then connected it as a symbol of women empowerment. Soon, the commercial breakthrough arrived when the song was declared the best song of the 2000s by Columbia Records and Rolling Stones. After having most of her songs with a fast tempo, Sierra wanted to change her music. The transformation appeared on a single called Promise, holding a slower pace. After the release, the song grabbed the number one position in the US Hot R&B Songs Chart and marked its flag at the number 11 position in the US Billboard 100. After selling over 1 million copies, it was certified platinum by the RIAA. You, the song was part of Street Love album by an R&B artist, Lloyd, featuring Lil Wayne. Remarkably, Lloyd admitted that the song was leaked to Atlanta radio stations before the official release to receive some airplay and was recorded in the producer's basement. Lloyd also reported that the song initially starred Atlanta rapper Tango Red. Luckily, Lil Wayne took over during its official release. Soon after its release, the real magic happened. You became Lloyd's first top 10 single in the US Billboard Hot 100 and Lil Wayne's second top 10 single. The song also grabbed the number one position in the US R&B songs chart and celebrated Lloyd and Lil Wayne's first number one single on the same chart. Being loved by everyone for his great personality, Robin Thicke's appearance as an artist made it hard for people to decide whether he is a singer or a supermodel. Lost Without You was one of the greatest songs from his second album, The Evolution of Robin Thicke. No one knew that before launching this song, he felt insecure about his music career after finding no success at the beginning. Still, Lost Without You was voted the sexiest song of the year by People Magazine and the 10th best song of the year by Vibe Magazine. The song also brought a massive commercial breakthrough for Robin Thicke after giving him the 14th position on the Billboard Hot 100 and grabbing the number one position in the Hot R&B Songs chart. The year wouldn't be complete without Neo and his dominant. Because of You was the second studio album by American singer and songwriter Neo. None of the debut singles were as upbeat as this album's lead single, Because of You. It's a sophisticated yet youthful song for the dance floor, one of many instances where it's evident that Neo has fully absorbed Michael Jackson and Rod Temperton's rich vocal arrangements on Off the Wall. Being acknowledged by most music critics, it won the Grammy Award for Best Contemporary R&B Album at the 50th Annual Grammy Awards in the following year. Because of You started from number one on the US Billboard 200 and Top R&B Hip Hop Albums chart, selling an enormous amount, 250,000 copies in its first week, and was later certified platinum by the RIAA. On Epiphany, T-Pain showcases his many personalities, top-notch production, aesthetics, and unapologetically sexual lyrical topics. The album is on the rise, featuring one or two skits, 
a good chunk of guest artists, most of which are indeed just alter egos for T-Pain and Booming Bass. With his second solid effort and excellent singles to boot, T-Pain started to establish himself as an endless source of entertainment. Epiphany is full of hits, good songs, such as Tipsy, Bartender, Buy You a Drink, and many more, making this album a complete classic. Epiphany debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. It received gold certification from RIAA. When a song sends a message for women's empowerment, it should be given a good amount of praise. Sometimes it's hard to make a good song out of the message, but Keisha Cole passed the test with Flying Colors launching Let It Go. The song talks about letting go of a failed relationship when it is found that your partner is not interested in showing love or respect to you and thus empowering women. Her powerful message, her powerful message helped Keisha Cole grab the seventh position on the Billboard Hot 100 chart within a few weeks and first position in the R&B songs chart. The song was also nominated in the 50th annual ceremony of the Grammy Awards and was also certified as platinum by the RIAA. And at the end of the fantastic year of 2007, Alicia Keys dominated the R&B scene. She published the song No One of her third studio album called As I Am. The song dominated the US Billboard Hot 100 chart for five consecutive weeks and the Hot R&B Songs chart for 10 straight weeks. And after selling 5.6 million copies, Alicia Keys won Best R&B Song at the 50th Grammy Awards. So these are some of the classic and charming R&B artists of 2007 that prove they are worthy enough to carry on the legacy of the R&B culture. But what do you think? Who was the most remarkable R&B artist in 2007? Neo? Beyonce? T-Pain? Maybe someone else? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss a single upload and you can enjoy the excellent content that we continue to send your way. I am Five Weeks Beats. Until next time.